we're going thrifting in Denver, and this time we're going Christmas gift shopping for my kids. All right, we're taking a quick look around. There's a lot of Christmas items here at this ARC. They have this long table full of a bunch of knickknacks. So cool. I don't know what we're going to find here. So what I'm looking for are just little things that scream out my kids, you know? That just, like for example, they love nutcrackers. So if I find nutcrackers, I might buy them. But here's a ceramic tree. What is this? Candle holder? It was cute. It has a fireplace, but not really what I'm looking for. But look at this. Nutcracker taper candles how cute are those but i wouldn't have the heart to light them and let them burn and ruin the nutcrackers so they would just collect dust another thing i'm looking for are keepsake ornaments like those old hallmark oh keepsake ornaments um i just need to find some that are you know i just need to find some that uh just call out to my kids oh my gosh look at this huge wreath I uh, didn't have a price on it and I wasn't going to wrestle it to find a price and I know it wasn't going to come home with me but it was huge alright now I'm just looking at all these little ornaments and activities that they have hanging up here you never know what you're going to find at the thrift store all right the book section yes i want to check out the books uh, diary of a pug all right my 10 year old loves dogs and her favorite dog is a pug and it's a scholastic book for only a dollar fifty that's coming home with me and i found my first gift all right, I found another cool book. It's just called Santa Claus, and it is $2.49. And I just want to look through it because it looked really cool, like a pop-up book. Excuse me while I struggle. Oh, look how cute. Okay, first there's a little letter here in the front. It says Merry Christmas. And then the land where Santa Claus lives, Arctic animals, cute, tells you about animals that live in the Arctic. Okay, this is fun. Ah, Santa's workshop, let's take a look, oh. Mrs. Claus. And it has a recipe, how cute. A very interactive book. Is that Rudolph? It tells you about the sleigh. It has all the reindeer names on the bottom. How cool would this be to look through with your kids on Christmas? And check this out. You can't see it, but the pink sticker is half off. All right, I wanted to show that I did find a book for my 12 year old who loves owls. Score! Now let's go look at some knickknacks. And first off, I find this Hallmark keepsake ornament of Scarlett O'Hara from Gone with the Wind. Anyone else a Gone with the Wind fan? Because I am. Look at this beautiful ornament of this pink tree for $1.29. I'm taking it home for the kids. All right, look at this cute picture for $4.99. I don't see any chips or cracks, perfect condition. I would definitely take it home if I wanted to, but no room. Nutcrackers, I told you, me and my kids are obsessed this year, but some of them are broken. So I'm just gonna leave those here. Let's look at more knickknacks. I love this area. You find so many gems like vintage 
plates. What are these little penguin spreaders? How cute for like a cheese board. And another ornament. Like I said, I have a little dog lover and it plugs into a light. I'm guessing through your lights on the Christmas tree and it does something for $1.99. I'm finding things for my kids, no matter how simple. Like I said, you find gems. Look at the sleigh for $5.99. It feels like it's some kind of toy, so I'm not going to grab that. But look at this little teapot. Oh my gosh, it has a little scene inside for $4.99. That would be cute on a shelf. I just don't have any shelves up right now. But, oh, I thought that was a Bath and Body Works candle holder. But look what I found. An actual Bath and Body Works candle holder. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the penguin. For $5.99. I wonder how much that is brand new at the store, but for $5.99, it can be yours here at the thrift store. Ooh, a jingle bell ornament. We did just go on the Polar Express um, experience here in Colorado. That would be cute. Look, look at the snowman dish. Cute. He has two stickers. <laughs> I wonder what price he is. And then here's a cute old plate. Oh, how gorgeous. It's like light blue and pink colors with a cottage on it. These dudes, I'm mm. not going to lie, they're kind of creepy. Um, they're like Santa elves. They're not coming home with me. Check this out, $2.99. Again, I have a dog lover, but I just don't feel like I'm not going to bring that one home. Alright, do you guys see anything cool? This place is so packed. I love it. Here's these little, like a little bag full of knickknacks. Cute. They're like little ornaments. Um, they have like this little Santa Claus and a box, an Eskimo girl and a dog in a stocking. Okay, do you need any Christmas dishes? Come on down to the thrift store. Cookies for Santa plate for $3.99. Kind of creepy, kind of cute at the same time. More little knickknacks like the snowman, a salt and pepper shaker, some serving dishes. Oh. <laughs> Temptations for $3.99. It's a little gingerbread teapot. <gasps> How cute. Who's oh my that? gosh. What is this? Um, Golden Girls. I don't remember her name, but she's the oldest one. <laughs> the mom. Alright, they have so many dishes to choose from. So if you need any serving dishes, this is their place to go. Look at this little nutcracker dude. Oh, and he's in working condition for only $1.49. I don't know why, but I just don't want to grab him. I think I'm looking for bigger. <laughs> okay, both of my kids love art. So I'm going to look over in the art area. See if anything catches my eye. Sometimes you find slime kits. Um, you know, I'm painting rock kits, science kits. So, let's see if I can find anything here. Look what I found. Isn't this Hover soccer ball like viral on TikTok for $3.99? Cool. My kids won't use it, but that was a cool find. Let's see what else we can find that my kids will actually use. Okay, they have this end stand and I see this acrylic paint for $2.99. I want to buy it, but we have enough paint at home already. Other than that, I don't really see anything in the art area for my kids. Okay, but the picture area is great to look too because there's Avengers and Deadpool. Great for any little fan. Okay, so this table caught my eye. But first, look what I found, a little nutcracker cookie tin for $1.49. That 
that would be cute to fill up some goodies in it. And also these gloves or mittens. They look like high quality. They're in great shape and they're, what, a few bucks? Okay, back to this table that caught my eye. And then just a bunch of Christmas stuffed animals. My kids do collect Beanie Boos, so this instantly caught my eye for $2.99. Super cute, but I think they already have him. Holy crap, they have Whether he has the hat or not, <laughs> they have that dog. So I'm just going to look around in here. <gasps> Blast from the past. Now that is what we used to collect, am I right? Beanie Babies. Look at the little snowman, gnomes. Um, I don't know who he is, but he was cute. But I'm looking for T.Y. Beanie Boos or something unique that, you know, calls out to me for my kids. Some Ken dolls. Uh, I am Knuff. <laughs> am I right? I don't know. I never watched that movie. Okay, my 10-year-old needs a computer chair, but that one looks a little not nice. It is only $14.99. But I think I'll pass on that one and try to find something better. Ooh, speaking of chairs, look at this one. It's green and velvet, and it's $39.99. I have one almost just like this at home. It would match. Now here's a blast from the past. What about this chair? It's only $39.99. Okay, well, I'm in the market for a new coffee maker, and I can get a Ninja like for $19.99. That's awesome. Or maybe a new toaster. Um, a humidifier. Just kidding, I don't need a new humidifier. <laughs> but I am wanting to look at toasters and coffee makers. My goodness, this one looks almost brand new for $14.99. Quizmart? Has a countdown timer? Y'all, this is fancy. I'm really considering taking this home. <laughs> I like looking in the appliances because you never know what you'll find. You can find dehydrators or you can make like those simmer pot um, ingredient things as gifts or dehydrated, dehydrated candies. I don't know exactly what this like is, a beef jerky dehydrator, I don't know, but y'all know those candies, the, like the dehydrated uh, Skittles and stuff that they do and they sell on TikTok. <laughs> Another great place to look in the thrift store is back where they keep all the exercise equipment and sport equipment and camping equipment. So if your kids are into any of that stuff... Like, they even have, like, a dartboard there. Uh, what are these? Um, oh, those are ice skates. Ice skates? If your kids want to ice skate. Or whatever. <laughs> um, my kids are not into sports or anything of the sort. But, like, hockey. <laughs> if you need... Ooh, look at these. Leopard roller skates. I think one of my kids wants to try roller skating, but I'm just not ready for that right now. And then toys for kids, like babies. $9.99. Rip to our ankles. <laughs> You're like a Snuggie? Like the actual Snuggies from like the, as you've seen on TV. Yeah. Like a big fuzzy white pillow. <laughs> uh. $7.99. Too expensive. I need a new printer. Do you think it'll work? I don't know. We bought a printer. Yeah. 
my new one stopped working. And check this out. Look at this huge nutcracker. And they only want $39.99 for him. Can you imagine? That is a steal, y'all. I just wish I had enough room in my crappy apartment. <laughs> and even if I could just shove him on our porch, that would be great. But we don't go out there. Okay, we're in the shoe section. And they have so many cute finds. Like these JoJo Siwa shoes. My 10-year-old was obsessed with her. But not anymore. <laughs> these awesome looking boots for $9.99. Check those out. I just don't know if my kids would like those. And they were pretty heavy. But they have so many nice shoes at this thrift store. It's just that we already went through. Like, look, look at these. Oh, they're so little. And so cute. <laughs> but we already went through all of our shoes with the kids. And they already have snow boots. But y'all, this is... Sorrel? I think I'm saying that right, Sorel. These are some top-notch boots, and they are in my 12-year-old size. And $14.99? Oh, that's a steal. This out, some Uggs, some Ugg slide-ons for $4.99, y'all. I'm hitting the jackpot in the shoe section today. Cute little kitty cat boots. They won't fit my kids, but $3.99 for something so cute. Oh. And then down here, there's some more cute boots. Like these pink plaid ones. This totally screams my 12 year old. This is like her style. But again, we went through everything, and my kids are set. They have boots that still fit them this year. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. Oh, for my baby knees, who is with me during this trip. So I showed these to my sister, and we got them. Finally, we made it to the toy section, and I found some dollhouse accessories in a bag. I love the toy section. Look, a Fisher Price Little People Jungle playset. How cute would this be for a little toddler? Little hippo. Oh, <laughs> found out how that works. And they only want $4.99 for it. That would have been a great gift. But we don't have any toddlers in our family right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, a sock monkey rocking horse? Creepy. I never like the sock monkey. <laughs> and then you can find some cute vintage toys like this Fisher Price microphone. How cute. Um, also, if they're a Toy Story lover, uh, I believe that toy is in Toy Story, the original movie. And so if your kids like Toy Story, um, they would absolutely love that toy as well. And then this little suitcase. I was going to get it because my kids love packing things up for their T.Y. Beanie Boos. But the handle was missing, so I'm going to leave it here. A bunch of cars, tanks, interactive toys. Another vintage toy. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh. It's um from Jurassic World. For 4.99 and it's it's like literally like brand new. It's all in one piece. It's clean. I bet it makes noise. Just checking out this little toy, doodad. Another little vintage Fisher Price toy for two ninety nine. Yeah, so cute. And then of course we have dolls like Barbies and little accessories in the bags. 
Don't forget to look around. Oh gosh, I don't think this should be in the kids section. You know, I wonder what parents told their kids when they're like, can I get the red cup? You also find Legos at the thrift store. Those might be a really great steal. So keep an eye out for those. There's a lot of little interactive toys. It's just my kids are too big now and my baby niece is literally only a few months old. A little princess house. I think that's for little people. That's adorable. So my little ponies, Shopkin accessories. Um, there's a robot dog down there. <laughs> Remember when those came out? Oh my gosh, that was a big deal when I was like a preteen. But yeah, just looking around trying to find anything that my kids will use. Ooh, a bag of like fidgets, fidget toys. It's just that my kids will play with them for like a day and then they toss them away. They're like, meh, whatever. This little uh, Shopkins vehicle, I don't know. Is it Shopkins? It's really sticky. I could clean it up, but I'm lazy. I don't feel like cleaning it up. But we're almost to my favorite place. <laughs> my favorite part was just the stuffed animals. Look at that Tonka truck right there. I'm finding so many cute and great things, but not for my kids. Not yet. Oh, this has like a little kawaii kitty. <laughs> the butt is <laughs> making me giggle. Oh, I might get take that home just for that cat with the little crisscross butthole. Just kidding, though. It's not coming home with me. Um, baby dolls, beanie babies, I think these are dog toys actually, yeah, they're definitely dog toys, that would have been great for our dog for Christmas, for $2.99, I don't know, I'm still like, are they toddler toys or dog toys, I don't know. Look at this little owl T.Y. Beanie Boo. He's cute. He has little earmuffs. Um, I'm not 100% sure if my kids have him or not, so I didn't grab him. But I probably should have. Um, and then another great thing you can find are accessories for your Build-A-Bears. So if you have a child who's really into Build-A-Bears, you can find them some great little accessories like these sparkly shoes for just a few bucks. So I'm just looking in this bag to see what's in it exactly. I see a little angry octopus. The ones that are, that switch from happy octopus to like mad octopus. It has a Pokemon, which my kids love Pokemon um, characters. So it has a Pokemon, a T.Y. Beanie Boo that my kids don't have. All for $3.99. So that thing is going in the basket. I love looking at games and I love looking, we don't do puzzles Ooh, mini brands. Um, supermarket race. Mm, I don't know if I think that sounds fun. <laughs> but um, we don't do puzzles, but we do like to do games and have family game nights. And um, you can also find like science kits and stuff here. Like this is a magnet activity thing I don't know my kids just wouldn't like that um but yeah I just love looking through all this stuff you can find Melissa and Doug toys ooh a roller coaster challenge that sounds fun extreme something that looks like it has too many pieces for me so uh, I'm not bringing that into my home ton of puzzles I've I can find like brand new still wrapped 
puzzles. It's just we never like doing them. Okay, my kids love Hello Kitty. So this would have been a cute gift for $2.99. But like I said, we just we don't do puzzles. Like we have puzzles at home and they don't get touched. Like I should donate them. <laughs> How about some Operation, Outburst, Zingo, What's Your Sign, ooh, the horoscope game for $5.99. Okay, so my kids are very into, um, like, horoscopes and zodiac signs and stuff, so this would be a great addition, but... I'm not 100% sold, but it does look so cool. I think if they were just a little bit older, they would understand this more. Um, but yeah, I don't think they'd understand it very much this year, so I'm not grabbing that. One last thing that you can find cheap at the thrift store are hats and gloves in pretty good condition for super cheap. Um, yeah, look at all these cute selections. My kids want hats like this, so I should pick up some. Here we are leaving with our goodies. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please consider following and subscribing, liking this video, whatever you want to do. I do hope that you guys have a wonderful Merry Christmas season. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be me showing you what I got my kids for Christmas. Bye!